Hey guys, your squad, and welcome back. So today we're talking about a lot of different topics in Summoner's World of Centuria, starting off with the new coupon code, which is going to be HELLO2022. If you haven't used this one, feel free to use it. I put everything down in the description as well. Um, there will be another one exclusively to my channel, so stay tuned, but I will talk about it later. And we start off with the balance patch, so let's get started. Starting off this year, we get a balance patch, and I'm actually excited to look at it. Um, we just jump right into it, because a lot of monsters got changed. Um, so, the skills have been balanced for Alicia. Freezing Wind increases damage by 50% upon freeze after the Ice Bomb effect ends. Well, personally, I don't find Alicia, Alicia uh, that much, to be honest. Um, because most of the people don't have her skilled up that much yet. Um, then Vertiheal, Legend Skill Stone, added an effect that increases the defense by 40% when placing Verdi in the forefront position. Wow. Not sure if it really helps, because um, most of the time defense is not that helpful. Maybe if he's like Limit Break, plus 15 or whatsoever, that may make a big big or huge difference, but most of the time, not sure about that. Then we get John, uh, shield push, damage plus 50%. That's nice. Um, I remember they nerfed it before, so I'm not sure what happened there. Then we have Mushu, La Vie en Rose, I guess so. Mushu's beneficial um, effect block effect can now be spread. Okay. That's disgusting, but we'll see. I I don't see that one that often, to be honest. Like, as I said, all the new monsters, it's it's so hard to skill them up, beside being a high-tier player. So, let's see. Uh, Ramagos, clean shot. Mana cost is down to 3 now, and same with Kuhn Ice Shield. Mana cost to 3. It's actually quite funny to see how they nerfed all the cheaper monsters earlier on in the year and now they just swap it back and the same thing goes to Konamiya as you can see Ancient Grace is mana cost 1 now so if you put Swift on it it's basically for free, free the first time so Dot teams and Lucian teams and whatsoever is going to be back I like it honestly um, so then Kernodon Toxic Breath, the damage dealt, dealt when attacking the forefront enemies now changed to damage proportion to the death. Okay. Not sure if it's that nice, to be honest. Then also, Konamiya gets another change. So, the hero skill stone that I still don't own, to be honest, um, is also adding 10% extra heal. Ouch. That's... It hurts. Then, before it removes harmful effects granted on all allies and recovers the HP when you die. After it removes one harmful effect from each ally and recovers the HP when you die. That's fair. I mean, that's fair. I, I like that. Um, it was annoying me anyway, so I, I like the change. Then, one thing that really bugs the hell out of me is Chloe. I use her all the time. I used to be a Camilla Chloe player, like not that many players to be honest. And now, what's that initial stats change? Like they made, like they added six attack, and they she lost like ninety HP. What for? Like she's a tank. Then Kernodon, um, less H, uh, less attack, more de defense, and more HP. All right. Um, I don't know, that doesn't seem like the most amazing change, but we have also some summoner spells balance, balancing, so yeah, divine protection, I loved it, and now they take like invisib uh, invincibility minus half a second and immunity duration is also cut down by 1.5 seconds. It's also a Soul Cleanse nerf, 15%. But Chain of Despair and Flame Strike get 10% damage on top. 
And Giant Warrior has added Vampire Effect by 20%. Didn't expect that one. Um, all in all, I like the changes for the low cost monsters here. Um, but it a little bit it ruins my my Camilla uh, Lucian. Uh, sorry, my Camilla uh, Chloe team, which uses Divine Protection, Chloe, and of course Camilla, which I don't have a legendary skill stone for. Um, I don't like it that much for this team, but I was changing it anyway. So with the Konamiya change, uh, with the mana cost and everything else. I probably go to back to dot team to have a better chance uh, to all the high tier players. Um, beside that, it's all right. And now we jump to some more changes that they had during the holidays, and let's see. All right, so the update was actually almost two weeks ago. Sorry for um, like talking about it so late by now. Uh, but I still wanted to talk about it, so everything is, like, you can watch everything here on my channel now. Um, so, what do we have? We have new content. Is it actual new content? Uh, so, recommended deck composition feature. A feature that automatically recommends various deck decks based on cards in your possession has been added. We could have needed that at the very beginning, like, honestly. Um... Then content improvement for the Cope battles. If you don't know yet, after the Cope battle is over, you can now request to play the battle once again on the results screen. If the partner accepts the request, a function to quickly restart the Cope battle will be added. After the Cope battle is over, you can now directly send a friend request to the summary you played with on this result screen. It's a bummer that you maybe lost your best friend now, which you had a good time with, and but now that you can finally add those people, so that's good. Then rank battle victory points will drop, uh, will be lowered for those who lose in rank battle with victory points, range for, uh, in the range of five thousand to five thousand five hundred. I mean, I'm not getting there anyway. So they can just stay there where they are, honestly, um, and we we just try to get there somehow, somewhat. A uh, free rune removal cost. Mana stones will no longer be consumed when removing runes. That's good because you need billions of mana stones just to like level up the mo those monsters, like or just upgrade your runes or whatsoever. And therefore, I'm glad they they took it out. I I mean, it makes sense in someone's War Sky Arena, but here it was just annoying, honestly. Content edit. Challenge improvements. Challenges for achieving co battle scores and winning alliance battles have been added to the belt, uh, challenges. Alright. Profile badge added. New player badges for co battles. Okay, that's nice too. And not last and not least, we got an event edit, which you probably have seen if you have played active. If not, um, so complete daily event quests, earn points, and roll the dice. And the more laps you do in the on this cute looking map, um, the more rewards you will get. With the last round, you get uh, to choose your legendary, which is quite nice. Um, generally, I like that they change everything so you can choose specific monsters, because mostly my decks can like I had to make them after like pulling whatsoever. Like I couldn't make specific teams I wanted to. I always had to like pray on my luck and get something that I want to make a team. And it was really annoying. And by now with all the ancient books and so on, even though ancient books aren't that great, um, it's pretty nice. So I'm happy that they changed everything up so you can be mo even more specific beside the guild uh, alliance stuff and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So next thing will be transmox added for Alusia and Beretta. I don't think we have those in Summoner's Wall of Skyrim now, which is cool. But I got the Alusia figure recently. Um, thanks to come to us for that. And also for my Lost Centuria pullover. I haven't talked about that yet. Sorry about that. Um, so they sent me a Christmas gift, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, 
but without the skin. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We 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 just got the Lucy uh, figure. Um, beside that, we got new Sophia icons, which look pretty cool. Um, but I'm not getting the battle pass anymore because I just it was kind of getting boring, to be honest. Um, like I like it more like different games handle it. Thirty levels is not enough in my opinion but that's just my my opinion um beside that uh other improvements the location of the friend menu button has been moved from the bottom of the main menu to the top of the main menu all right and as always <laughs> we're not going through the big uh the the, the big bug fix changes and we are also getting a few new packages yeah, obviously we're getting those. Um, all right, so that's about the first coupon code, the changes, the uh, balances. And now we're talking about the last coupon code. So as you can see right here or here, I, I look where I put it later. Uh, RBX Games uh, 01 is uh, my first coupon code, like my first own coupon code. And you get three mystical books. Um, I'll add the link down below as well. Uh, it is limited to the 17th of January and up to 10 people can get it. Um, if you haven't got it yet, maybe I get it each month by now, uh, which would be pretty awesome. And yeah, I hope you liked all of the changes so far. Uh, I will be posting more Lost Centuria content as well. If you have any like specific content you would like to see about this game, um, please let me know um, because um, sadly a lot of my friends ha stopped playing this game and uh, it makes me a little bit sad, honestly. I, I made good content with them or just came out of good, like had good ideas with them and I would like to improve it and yeah. That's about it. Thanks all for watching my video and I would really appreciate if you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.